Hello everyone, Caddy Wampus Gamer here with another episode of Minecraft Awakening. Today I am going to be building a mob farm. First I wanted to show you I got six different types of fruit trees. I got grapefruit, orange, apple, peach, papaya, and coconut. I can juice those and get enough to just cycle through those for what I need to eat because they actually do a really good amount. Okay. So the mob farm, I decided to build it under the cemetery. I started building a cemetery because instead of playing on hardcore mode, every time I die, I'm going to add a tombstone and some flowers to the graveyard or cemetery. Um, I made this gate here. And I'll be getting rid of these pressure plates once I get enough stuff to make a player detector. But you can see when I hit the pressure plates, those actually disappear. And then a few seconds after the pressure plate goes off, it's gone. I just thought that was like one of the coolest things ever. But when I get the player detector, it's just as I'm walking up to it, it'll just go and disappear. Okay, so right now this is just a chest with the tombstones and a little extra fence and the thing for cutting tombstones. So I've died twice. One was Nuclear Monster, that was in episode two. And then I died another time where I went AFK without pausing my game somehow and I came back and I was dead. Anyway, check this out right here. This is where the opening to the dungeon used to be. That is so cool. I love the animation for that and the sound. So I decided um, what I want to do is the pathway here I actually want to make this so that when I get to a certain point it disappears and then I'll have like all my Thaumcraft stuff down in there in like an underground uh, catacombs type thing. And then I'm doing my mob spawner here for now. So this is the, the room. I've already got it dug out. I went through trying to figure out how to fit it in here because that's the edge of the cemetery there and I wanted to stay underneath the cemetery just for when I'm digging around upstairs trying to remember what's where. Um, so what we're gonna do is drop down and we're gonna finish putting everything inside. Um, we need conveyor belts, which to craft those, this is the recipe. And I think I just made a few more than I wanted. Uh, let's see. I only want zombie spawners right now. Um, I'm going to need the redstone stuff to lever this, 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 possibly that. Um, let's see. And we'll take that. So I made a spot right here, and I have a piston right over there that I can retract to open and close this because sometimes I'll change out the spike and I need a way to keep the mobs from falling down. So what I'm going to do is actually, let's see, build up here. The mob spawners are going to go here, then there's going to be redstone lamps and then another row of spawners here. So I can put 10 spawners in here. So hopefully nothing spawns while I'm doing this. Let's see, wireless transmitter, I want wireless receiver. So we're going to put this here, and we're just going to say frequency 10, like that. Then we're going to hop back down here. And we're going to put the transmitter on the wall. What am I hitting? There we go. We'll just put it right here. Put the lever here. Let's see, put this on 10. And now when I do that, I should have a redstone signal there. And it looks like I do. I don't know what it is with me getting stuck today. Okay, so we're going to do that. Then we're going to hop back up here. We're going to put a redstone lamp here. And I'm hoping... Good, I can run that down there. Okay. So I'm going to rip this out. I'm going to build out here. I'm going to need to pick this up. Actually, I might get away without doing it. Let's see. One, two. I can. Let's see. And let's build out here. And put these here. And then we're going to put the wire here. Now, hopefully this gives off enough light to at least cut down on the mob spawns. If it doesn't stop them completely, it's not a big deal. Because they're only going to spawn when I'm in a 16 block radius anyway. Okay, so we got that in. And later on, I can just add five more spawners here and that one there. So I'm going to break this up. 
and then we're going to start putting the conveyor belts down. Now these conveyor belts are from Immersive Engineering and when you place them Whoa, okay. Apparently it's not light enough. So I'm going to be fighting zombies this whole time. Yay. Let's see. I don't think that's going to do much good. Anyway, okay. They place facing away from you. If you shift click, they will place facing towards you. And if you shift click, you can fight against them because you'll be stuck on them if you just try and do it normally but if you sneak by shift clicking that allows you to um, get off the conveyor ooh no 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 I'm waiting for more to spawn I was hoping those lights would work Okay, so doing this part's gonna be hard because I gotta hop up, do this, then hold shift. Make sure I don't do it while I'm placing. Hey, hey, you can't get me. Oops, see, I held shift on that one and it's going the wrong direction. So if I jump, place, then shift. Okay. Oops. Let's see, I got two different picks and it gets confusing sometimes. One of them, what I did was I made an obsidian pick. Um, I had obsidian, but like the durability is only 21, I think. Which means it wears out pretty quick. But um, it allows me to mine higher tier things and it has repair on it. So it actually repairs itself pretty quickly. Let's see, get rid of this. This one. Okay. And we are done. So these will drag them all the way over to here. They'll drop off like this, drop into there. And guess what? I don't have any blocks to close that off. No, oh, get back, get me. No. Okay, so I can do this. And the reason I had those over there was so I could actually see in the window. Okay, so if I flick that, I just shift clicked. If I do this and turn this off, then they should start spawning a lot better. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an iron spike and put it here. Break this up, and I'm going to put one of these things here so I know not to do that. Then I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to break this up like this. You know what? I'm just going to do this. Carry that on. I'm going to put this here. Then I think I have, I don't have a chest. You know what? I'm just going to pick this one up. Okay, I'm going to put a chest here. I'm just going to throw some random stuff in there so that I have room. This is getting really noisy. We put the vacuum hopper here. If we hit O, that'll close out any eye so that we can click over here. Right click to drag this, left click to add. So we're going to go items to the bottom. XP to the side. We're going to put a drum here. And now I should be able to just hop up here, do this. And I think I'm picking up the XP. If I step back here, it should. Do 
Do iron spikes not drop XP? Oh, that's a bummer. Um, those little floaty things you see there, those are for farm craft. You can use those to charge up your wands. But you can see I already got a zombie brain, a knowledge fragment. So we'll go ahead and use that. Let's see. Can we bring up any eye again. Okay, there we go. The main reason I did this mob farm during this episode was the fact that I need bones to grind up for bone meal to do the next episode, which I'm doing on Agricraft on how to get level 10 crops. So that was the whole purpose of doing this mob farm, is mainly for bone meal. I could have gone with skeletons, but the problem with skeletons is they drop bows, and that's one more thing to try and get rid of. And I found out this chunk of flesh, you can use this to make flesh. This block, you use this with three salt, and it gives you a raw meat block. You can take that, pull it apart, and get nine meat ingots, which you can eat raw, and you can cook. So that's two food sources. And you see, look, I've already got two more knowledge fragments. So it seems to me like zombies drop a lot of knowledge fragments. So what I'll probably do is... This block has the conveyor on it, this here. I'll probably hollow out a thing right here. Put a door on it. And um, I always put a crafting station where I can click on it because when I AFK, if I just do this and leave it, it'll end up closing out the game eventually. So I always do a crafting table. And then just go AFK just like this. Okay, so that about does it for this episode. These things solidified experience. As soon as you put this in your inventory, it turns into a bottle of enchanting. So I'm not sure why it does that, but it works the same. Okay, so this episode is almost done. I just love that animation. You can actually change the speed on this. So if I go like duration 200, then it'll go like that. These blocks are really cool. This is from Malice's Doors. And let's see, if I put duration to zero, it's just instantaneous. Um, I think I had about 20 on there. Yeah. And that's what these are too. And you can connect these things and you can tell them to send the redstone signal certain directions. So you can have like a door that opens like a spiral and then closes back. It's really cool. Um, let's see. I want to do loot bags real quick. Let me know in the comments if you like me doing loot bags at the end of every episode. If you think that's interesting or you just think it's boring or what. Um, oh, yeah, I had a little creeper incident between episodes. I'm over here. My gold chest used to be here. So I'm, I'm in it and I see the creeper coming and I go back like this. And he just hops up on top of the chest stares at me. I'm like all the way back here and he just explodes and destroys with my gold chest and like these wooden ones here, like six of them. So there's like all these items and like my world almost crashed. Um okay, so we'll do the loot bags. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you like the loot bag thing or you think it's just a waste of time or, you know, just your general opinion on it. Oops. Let's see. These are all common loot bags. So did I get anything good? I got three pistons. Those are pretty good. I got a watering can. Yes! Okay, that helps because I really wanted a watering can before I did the agricraft. Because you'll need it for some stuff. So ferrous blocks, raw salmon, uh, seven diamonds. Ooh, lime flowers and brown flowers. Those are good things to get. Okay, so now we'll do the uncommons. And I'll grab these. Okay, three pistons, some gold, iron, ferrous, blazing pyrothium. This will come in handy. Four ender pearls. Okay, so let's do the rare one. Torches and dirt. Not the best. Whoa. Okay, where was I? Four TNT, seven iron, and four slime ball. Okay, that works. Oh, yeah, so this is my quarry. I actually hit the top of the dungeon there. This is going to be the blacksmith's shop. 
and that'll be in a future episode. I need to get a storage building because I got like these chests all over the place and they're just stuffed with stuff. I want to build an ME system as soon as possible and get all those items in it. Uh, I think that's about it for this episode, so until next time, Cattywampus Gamer signing off.